We begin in southwest Lagos State, where the civil society organization of Nigeria staged a peaceful protest to create awareness and draw attention to the continuous teaching of sexuality to minors. Despite the rain, they made their way starting from the Ikeja City Mall to the government house, Alausa Ikeja. Holding placards with different captions, they called on the Lagos State government and the lawmakers to make proper legislation to protect children from being sexualized. Pupils in primary and secondary school are currently being taught matters of sexuality under the Comprehensive Sexuality Education, which in Nigeria goes by the name Family Life and HIV Education. The state government is empowered to legislate upon, particularly for, for studies for um, primary and junior secondary. Uh, and we thought we should bring our complaints really to the state of assembly, who are the lawmakers, so they, they hear us out and then take active steps to um, stop the scourge. What are we not telling our guests? It means that we're actually giving them go ahead to have premarital sex, which has actually killed a lot of children, young girls, because of the fear of the parents, fear of the society. What would the society say about me when they get to know that I'm pregnant? We're trying to stop this harm before it goes further. And then secondly, yesterday we heard on the news that Lagos State has a new guideline for abortion. And we were alarmed because under the banner we saw Lagos State in collaboration with Marie Stoops International on Marie Stoops Nigeria. And we know that Marie Stoops stands for abortion abortion at any point in time and at any for any reason and we don't understand why our government should be working hand in hand with a pro or uh, abortion NGO our parents need to stand up to what they have been called to do safeguard the young people that are in your care if my parents didn't do their own job I don't think I'll be here so what we're saying to our parents is please go there and do your job our children should be allowed to grow up up how it matters. Our children should not be taught what they need to know when they are adults, like telling a child that you are the owner of your body, you can express your sexual expression anyhow. We are saying no, don't sexualize our children, abortion kills. All right, we've been here for several minutes already, right in front of the government house here in Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos, with the civil society organization of Nigeria, which comprises different bodies these different NGOs we have teachers here we've got mothers we've got students and they've all come together under one umbrella why are they here well they are here to protest the sexualization of children the sexual exploitation the teaching of sex in our secondary schools and even in our primary schools and they're saying it is too much too soon and having talked with some of the organizers we understand that this is something that has been ongoing and they they're saying that they are not okay with it. Now they're calling on the Lagos State government and they're calling on parents, they're calling on everybody, they're calling on Nigerians to be aware of what is going on and to assist in putting a stop to what they say is sexual exploitation of children. Like I said, we've been here for several minutes and uh, we're yet to see how it goes. We're yet expecting um, representatives from the Lagos State government to come and address them. But in the meantime, their song remains firm. Stop the sexualization of our children. Reporting for LN24-7, I'm Zoe Okafo.